my name is Susan Magdaleno. I'm a senior staff scientist in R&D. There's two really main uh, pain points. One was the efficiency of design. We had some basic rules around how to get an siRNA that gave pretty good efficiency, but it was really dependent on the gene target of interest. And sometimes you had to use very high concentration levels to get that level of knockdown that you wanted for cell biology applications. So potency was a big issue. The other one, which is a little more difficult to overcome, was the idea around specificity. We could get good designs, but sometimes they knock down more than the target of interest. And so you ended up with some very confusing biology. Were you knocking down just the RNA you were interested in, or were there off-target effects? The main benefits of Silencer Select technology are twofold. One is the ability to use it at very low concentration. So um, part of the development also included a, using a new algorithm called the Support Vector Machine Algorithm. It's a machine learning that allows you to classify uh, two things, either in good or bad. So you're not really aligning things along a, a linear range. You're classifying things as good or bad. And depending upon where you put that threshold, you can classify things as, as you like. So we decided to only look for siRNAs that gave 90% knockdown or better. So the support vector machine really allowed us to differentiate super high potency siRNAs and then everything else. So one of the benefits of Silencer Select is the efficiency of the design. So we are um, uh, close to 100% of the design efficiencies give at least 80% knockdown. So very, very high efficiency across all different designs. The other benefit for Silencer Select is the reduced off-target effects. We've got chemical modifications onto the siRNAs that drive the uptake of the correct strand of the siRNA, it really enforces the, the utilization of the guide strand and eliminates any application on the passenger strand within risk. Silencer Select is fairly unique on the market right now for siRNAs. It's the only product that contains locked nucleic acids, uh, LNAs. Um, these are a third generation oligonucleotide modification that really alters the TM of the oligo and it configure the way we've placed the LNAs along the siRNA helps configure the siRNA in a way that interactions with risk are more specific and it helps drive the interaction with the target in a more specific way.